going on, everybody? We got Jeno here. Hey. Got me. We got a brand new camera. You notice this difference in quality? Yeah, so we said that we were going to come back to this place. Oh, we're here. You guys remember this creepy farm? We sure do. This is the place where I locked my keys out of the car. <laughs> yep. Wow. This place here gives us the absolute creepiest vibes. <sighs> Alright. So, we don't actually know history to this place. Um, and maybe before we go check this out, we got to make sure there's no squatters here, guys. You know what I mean? So, I think what we're going to do is maybe just check the area. What do you think, Jen? Yeah. Check the perimeter. Yeah. There's all kinds of holes in the ground. Yeah, I'll be careful there. Like little holes. Didn't do any time. Oh yeah. Like animal here. Yeah. Well, it's not animal infested, no. We got to get a good look at everything here now. Um, see, the one area that we didn't check last time was down there. I don't want to go down there. Don't want to go down there. Nope. Why not, you know? <laughs> I just want to do this and get out of here. I got the creepiest vibes. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, show you guys from right over here. Looks like it might be hard to get over there. So, yeah. So all this we haven't explored yet. Maybe, uh, maybe some time I can come and you and a little explore here. Imagine finding a car in there. <laughs> so, uh, I think maybe we'll go and just check this place out really quick. And then I might want to, might get some other shots here. I'm not gonna wait around just a little bit. It is getting dark as you guys can see here. As we run like a full sort of investigation inside, we'll see. You gotta love that masonry work though, huh? Mm -hmm. Right there? That's beautiful. Yep, should be turned on there. Yeah, new mic, new camera and stuff, guys, so... Yeah, I think we'll need to... Yeah, you got a flashlight there and at the bag, so... Let's pop in really quick. This creepy, oh my god, this place is so spooky, guys. Oh my god, I almost went through the floor. I think it's already Oh my god, up. careful. It's really weak right where you are. The floor is spongy. It's a whole crap. Oh shit. We're just gonna get this flashlight over here, guys. Okay. First channel. She's brave. Look at this. Channel's going first. Yeah, see, this is where this is the one we can't go upstairs. Yeah. I think I'm also going to pull up my phone and get some footage on here, too. Thank you. 
guys haven't seen our original video coming in there, I definitely would recommend checking that out. Okay. Okay, so this is the kitchen in here, obviously, right? First exploration here. I actually, sorry, I just stepped on something. <laughs> I actually uh, thought that this room over here led down to a basement, but it does not lead down to a basement. As you guys will see, cobweb galore. What's going on, Spooters? Spooters from hell. All right. Yeah. See, that doesn't actually go to a basement. Since I got two cameras going, guys, I will be going back and forth and edit there. Okay. Snail show. I was going to say, <laughs> I just stepped on something there. That smell was so atrocious, people. I'm not even kidding. It was so disgusting. <coughs> I think I just walked into another spider web. Yeah, there's um, a gun case, which is like kind of weird, right? Kind of weird that it's a gun case. Oh, uh, here's me some jars. Oh, God.
think what we're going to do is maybe set up for a small investigation, guys. Because, yeah, I got really odd vibes, too. Jen knows not a lot. My head is that. pounding. Yeah, And it was is, not before we got here. My head is kind of going, too. I remember there being some sort of grandfather clock over here. See if that's still, that's still there, yeah? Interesting. Okay. Um, the reason why we're not going to go upstairs, guys, is because uh, we discovered that it's really uncomfortable. It's really not good. I mean, if, look at this. It's going to cave in, so we're not going to go and risk that one there, peeps, okay? It's just not a safe idea. Um, if you guys want to see what the upstairs looks like, just go check out our previous video. That's all. But, um, yeah, we'll do the necrophonic here. And then, uh, I guess that I'm even do... That microphone should be able to catch it. If we have the EMF in here too. And I just set this guy up over here. We'd like to know whose house we are in. Show us a sign that you're here. We just want to communicate. Are we safe here? Can you tell us what happened here? Can you give us at least a name? My mind feels so like, weary right now that I almost don't know what to ask, guys. you one more time. Can you please show us a sign that you're here? You can touch that ball there and it'll light up. You can talk to us. You can show yourself. You can make the machine in Rain's hand beep by touching it. stays here.
but it doesn't starting to not feel so malicious anymore. And you know what, everyone? Every gentleman has been wearing a pentagram lately. Um, and ever since then, it's it's kind of... I mean, superstitious or whatever. I know you guys can't really see it there, but superstitious or not, it seems to be making quite the difference. I mean, honestly. It's, it's really awesome. Are you a of my pentagram? It just called you the C word there. It doesn't like the pentagram, does it? Why don't you like my pentagram? Pentagram scare you? Does it scare I think we'll close this little conversation up here with you guys. So if you wanna if you wanna say anything, if you wanna show your, your presence to us and say hello, so by all means. Now's the time. Yeah. But before we go, you are not allowed to attach yourself to us, our equipment, our car, our dog, or anything we have with us. You have to stay here. Okay, we're going to say goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you for having us here. Oh, I already turned it off, but it's okay. Um, that was so weird, just when I went to hit the stop button. My hand did the, a weird twitchy thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Not saying it's anything paranormal or anything, it just did a weird thing. I mean, this place has the real spooks to it, guys, and there is a serious energy in there. We weren't able to get the evidence that we really wanted to, but, Unless we got something like but that doesn't mean um, that what we're feeling is not um, justified, right? So. Yeah, another thing we also have with us that we don't always carry is our sage bundle. Yes. Which we will be carrying from now on. So, I'm going to uh, turn off the fancy new cam here so that I can get some nice shots outside there. And, uh, I don't even think we'll need to go and check out the trailer because you guys, have, or, you guys have already seen what it looks like in the uh, the other video. And if you have not, definitely make us, like I said, go, go and check that one out. There wasn't really any uh, weird vibes in the trailer either. No, there wasn't no weird vibes. It was just... Uh, the random abandoned trailer. It's cool though. It's really cool to see. Hey, can make some cocktails, John. Mm. Cocktail party? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> People will be coming in here. Cocktail parties and stuff. Oh yeah. All of a sudden I caught a whip of a weird smell. No, that was not me, folks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh I'm going to keep this other camera on here on my phone, and we're going to walk out here. It's right, almost people? like a gasoline type of smell. Mm. Don't know if that means anything. There it is again. 
I've never caught a smell besides mold or disgusting freezer, but...